Soviets and Soviets are the red, white, and blue army. Uh, this is Con Ulrich. And I'm Ringru, hello, hello, hello. And folks, another game, another day. And today, we go back to that cl most classic of maps, Orchard North, to see ourselves with a, a bit of an interesting match. Rang, who do we have? Well, on our left hand side in blue, we have Spanish uh, Reiter. Is that how you say, Khan? I would say Spanish Reiter, Spanish Reiter, maybe Spanish Reiter, but anyway. Ooh, right wow. to the case, he's playing 20th Panther, balanced income. Right hand side, we have Xenon Gun, playing 44th Gun, Strokovi, a balanced income. So we are going to see ourselves a lot of early vehicles over here on the left hand side. Actually, a Martyr opening, which is kind of uncommon, I would yeah, say. Yeah, that is definitely bizarre, especially from a 20th Panther play. Not a bad play, because those Martyrs are like 45 points, so they're pretty cheap and great on that early defensive. Indeed, and actually looking to the north, I was going to say, I thought we'd have four Panther Shrek squads. No, we have one Shrek, three Flame, and a Pack 40 to back them up. Unfortunately for them, they're not going to be able, I think, to keep these uh, this early Superior Rush at bay. Yeah, we're also seeing, yeah, we're also seeing the Sap Power PPSA Trash, which definitely rather interesting. They have been nerfed, so they no longer have the uh, Panther Faust anymore, but only like 10 points, so they're very cheap to get. So we'll see how that plays long, and that's going to allow Xenon to get some of the initial early position dangerous controls. He's mainly doing an infantry opener. But down south, you already have a big, big fight here. The same kind of thing is happening. Flame troops are desperately trying to keep the Soviets at bay. They're not going to be able to. They're being overwhelmed in the rush. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, no, they lost the they the Panzer Faust. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they lost the satchel charge, not the Panzer Faust, my bad. Which is likely probably a little bit worse in this case. Is, you know, satchel charge is pretty good at dealing with diamond rifles. Indeed. Uh, but at the same time, those PPSHs are no slouches either. And slouch trooping being thrown in along the entire line in an attempt to kind of stabilize the situation. Because the situation has gotten very, very poor very, very quickly. Yes, it has. And, yeah, the model runs are a little bit slow getting to the front line. Uh, finding a bit to set up with Spanish uh, bringing up his more Panzer Force up north with two Panzer Free Ends and a Panzer Four Fuhrer. Yep. Now, the, the, pan the P3Ns we've talked about before as being the kind of that workhorse tank and with the p 3 and this is kind of what the the low velocity infantry gun, I think. Yeah, yeah. They stuck a 75 mil in it. I think it's the only Panzer free where they actually meant to put the 75 mil in. This is like a more later model design. Indeed. Yeah. But uh, tell us about the matchup in terms of infantry, please. Um, 20th Panzer, no lot of infantry. 44 guards, Strokovi, lots of infantry, lots of guards. A guard and yeah, they got Mr. Guards not Strokey, so guard, guard TB, spam, ultimate cheekies, and mainly T34, 76s, so more medium, like cheap tank spam. Actually, you know what's really interesting? Right now we see a 76 2 uh, engaging a martyr from a long range with its heat ammo and taking it out. <laughs> Damn, so that was a good hit. Only negative about those things is that they have papier mache for armor. Mm hmm. Yeah, because he's pretty easy to put a hole through armor. If Marta runs, of course, you want to try to keep him. He I mean, did have him in a forest, to be fair, but he got spotted and he was destroyed. Yes, I was also going to see an, a SDKFZ-11 flak. Kind of an interesting vehicle. Yeah. We don't see it very often. Yeah. Um, hideous thing, to be fair. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's... And he's going to be dead in about three ugly. seconds. He'll be dead in about three seconds. There's too many Panzerfausts. That's... that's... Absurd. Yeah, yeah, and the uh, same as the two five runs. I, oh I whoa! Never mind. These are super light. I forgot about how weak these guys are. Turret stuck. But we are seeing one by one the squads getting picked up. It's a tank destroyer now. <laughs> True. I hadn't even thought of it that way. But you're absolutely right. Um, checking back into the north, we did get to see a P three L and a Pack forty starting to assert itself, but there is still a T-34 in the area, and he's not going to mess around. No, that's a perfect spot for the T-34, so you pretty much shut down the deployment line, and that Pack 40 does not have line of sight, so... Yeah. Good, something, good. something else has line of sight, though. It's, oh, it's not built. Okay. I maybe the P-3N had line of sight somehow, but I guess not. Oh. But this has been a fantastic early push here from Xenon Gun. These men who pretty much disrupt 
uh, Ritter's lines mostly, and he's putting on a lot of good press. And down south, he's getting a little bit of run on Serkman once again, going to be knocking out or surrounding you know, the Stoss Troop. They're Stoss Trooper, they're meant to be surrounded. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, well, one thing about this, though, I think that Spanish has been spent throwing infantry into the line in a desperate bid to kind of stabilize the situation, which when you're dropping, you know, two and three tickets at a, at a tick, you, you have to go with whatever you got. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like Spanish has that much in terms of A-phase infantry, because looking at it, I haven't seen a proper infantry scroll. Okay, no, yeah, I haven't seen a pr proper infantry scroll. It's just been sauce troops and flame for us. No Panzer Grenadiers, no Sturm Pioneers, just very light infantry. But I think, ooh, by the way, we have your, your favorite 76 mil, uh, you know, anti-tank position. Um, but we, at the same time, early on, I think the phase A build is to try to go fast and light. The yeah. issue with that, though, is that you're glass cannon. We have guards coming in, which are, again, long-term, viable, very, very dense oof there goes a uh, p3 p the p4 um rather from that uh, 70, su-76 we have a very very light and kind of mobile infantry and mm -hmm. if you blow the early glass cannon you blow the early glass glass cannon yeah i i really do not like this at all I, infantry is very important to have early on especially like proper infantry i can fight and currently the issue is is Banisher is getting all these, you know, cool tanks and whatnot, but they keep getting killed by stuff that you can't see because you can't clear the forest. Indeed. Indeed. It's a very, it's a very ballsy move. I got, I got to give him, yeah, I've, I haven't seen someone do a 20 pounds of play. I, I hope for love of God and B face he has just infantry spam up the Razu to make up for it. Because he is losing pretty hard right now. Well, the question will become, is there actually going to be a oh. B-phase? <laughs> if we're asked to see a Panzer Grenade to be brought in down south, so he does have at least some proper infantry squads. What in an awful idea. But you know what is yeah. also done there? PTRD squad is going to take out this half-track. Oh, yeah. Yeesh. Guard TP doesn't mess around. I see a two-star guard TP squad. It's definitely also a bit of a rarity. You'll notice people just like taking them unvetted for spam potential. That's certainly true. Now we are going to see P3 onto the north panicking. Yeah. I don't see a lot of positive stuff to kind of think about when I'm thinking about this uh, lower German push. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's bringing up the Pantagrim deer, but even then Xenon has such a superior infantry force. <laughs> it's just going to have a pretty easy time. And even the guard TP, if he moves it around a bit, he can get some side shots on the P3. Well, he did play, try to play tanks at 20 paces, and despite having a two-star veterancy, he decided to throw away his shot by only getting rid of the transmission. Um, mm -hmm. So he's used up one of his three lives over here. He's got to make sure he can maybe respawn as a plane in another life. <laughs> yeah, well, that guard TP, if he just moves up just a little bit, he can he can shoot that P3 in the ass. Oh, that's what he's doing. If he can stay in range... Oh, yeah, this is going to hurt. Yeah. AT rifle bounces first shot, not a surprise. Bounces again, come on. Engine uh, stall, that's rough. Mm hmm. That's so funny, the P3 has more uh, back armor and it does side armor. What can you say? There's a lot of junk in the trunk. <laughs> IL. Okay, the IL2M, how often do we see the cluster HEs? Holy, not often. Usually because they're pretty pants, but. Well, that's that's kind of cool to see. I wonder that's if a cool paint job. Well, I am probably not going to see it just because of the way his. Yep, he's just a pansy. Um, plus, I'm not entirely sure why he brought him in. He knows that's a tank. He killed the tank, so I'm not sure what he thought was still hanging out there. Yeah, that's definitely a little bit, a little bit bizarre. Well, we are going to see if the Germans have any Sitzfleisch yet for this particular match. Um, by the way, I found out today that in uh, U.S. English, Sitzfleisch is a German loan word, basically meaning resolve. So, vocab lesson for the day. It might be my new favorite English word. 
how do you say thank you again in German? I, it's Danke. Or Danke. It, Danke, Khan. There we go. Of course. Go. Of course. Um, <laughs> you're welcome, Devadish. There we go. We're a multicultural <laughs> family. Uh, but down south, again, yeah, I really wish I, there was something I could say was going well over here. Spanish Rita, or Spanish Rita, rather. Um, but he's just, he's not really massing himself with any kind of infantry support. Yeah, it just keeps kind of throwing his light armor array into Soviet pockets of ambushes with scary AT grenades and AT rifles and AT guns. Even though not the heaviest duty, I've said, AT weaponry is more than enough when you shoot stuff in the butt, in, in the side. Anywhere else, not the front. Well, it's even worse, too, is when you see stuff like getting guard squads rushing up behind half tracks and oh, yeah. freaking them out. And uh, this is one of those moments you have to, have to, have to keep your vehicles kind of protected. And I'm just seeing a P3 down in the north go down. I don't know from what, though. No idea. No. But we are seeing, yeah, a bit of a push come back here up north with uh, Spanish. Uh, it's got a lot of Panzer Grenadiers, so maybe if just the sheer force of German infantry can clear up Xenon gun stuff, but at the same time, probably. Okay, he's bringing up some armor Panzer 4Gs up north. He might be, but look down south, he's got stuff like this P4 Fuhrer. Oh no, it's dude. Command tank. No. He's chasing after a freaking sniper team. I understand you're in lead from the front and everything, but you're taking it a little bit to the extreme. Indeed. It kind of reminds me at this point, continuing our uh, references to war movies, but we have like Battle of the Bulge when you have like, that random machine gun that takes out that stupid tank commander just like hanging out up front. <laughs> that always bothered me. Like, how yeah. dumb can you be? Yeah. Uh, what, a, what a dumb movie. Dumb, yes, but you know, at the same time, we don't have any real good. That, that's not that many good World War II movies, I guess. Not... I know that that'll kick off your whole thing about British Youth Far and yada yada yada. I was thinking, like, the last real good one I've seen was Dunkirk. But that wasn't even, like, quote unquote proper World War II movie. No, that's, that's poor to say, but it's not like an action World War II movie. It's more of a, like, a drama in a sense. It's still a fantastic movie. And I like it because it's different, but it's not like your traditional, like, 70s, 60s World War II movie with lots of action scenes and stuff blows up and. You know, the old guys in the movie are actually from the war. Well, the funny thing is, I saw, I saw at one point people griping about the fact that there should have been more guys on the beach. And it's like, yes, but you wouldn't have cared the same amount. So, I don't know. Christopher Nolan can make a war movie any way he freaking well wants to. I'm fine with that. The Pioneer SVT is moving into the, from the middle side here. Uh, trying desperately to maybe to pick up this flag that is so tenuously being held by these spot troops. Yeah, I mean, is he bringing up? Okay, he's bringing up some infantry in the middle for Spanish, because yes. uh, yeah, you definitely want to try to pick up those flags. That'd be pretty easy. I think I'm thinking maybe pushing in the middle would be Spanish's best idea in total, because it's pretty barren in the middle from from the Soviet side. From Xenon, there's really not much yet. Wait, wait, wait! You're saying the Red Barons with the Soviets now? <laughs> he's. <laughs> World War One joke, <laughs> and my life is complete. All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, more troops okay. on to the south, though, with um, the Pantabusha. Yeah, that's the PZFs. Yeah, that's the ones with the Pantabusha, are they not? Uh, down south? Yes, the uh, anti-tank rifles for the Germans. No, the Panzer Faust. Wow, I don't know why I say Pantabusha. That was dumb. Uh, but we have five yeah. squads coming back in, and that should be enough to stabilize. Yeah, but finally bringing up some bloody infantry, which is... Yeah, he is, he is stabilizing quite a bit now, and all, all he needs is infantry, just a decent amount of it, and hopefully he has a lot of B-face and C-face cards to to get him back, because he has a, a long way to climb. Now, I think this one IL-2 might go down to this 410, which is kind of amusing to me. Rinky dink shots! Is he going to get him before he freaks out? No. No, the IL-2 is pretty well armored. And also fast enough to escape. Well, I'll tell you, oh, he's not going to be fast enough to escape this 410. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if it's going to be ground fire or... Yep. Yep. He's dead. Very dead. 
It says oh, Northern Pusher is going off from Rita. This just the sheer amount of Panther Grenadiers is personal reason on. Hasn't managed to bring up any fire support here because uh, T3476. Oh, it's not in position right now, but if he just moves a little bit to the left a bit, he can shut down the reinforcement road. I agree with you, but at the same time, I don't agree with you because we have these. We now have anti air um, equipment that's being positioned to engage his infantry. So we have several squads of infantry that are now oh, freaking yeah. out. There's no leadership in the area. And although the T-34 is getting engaged by the mortars, there's still so much extra junk that um, I don't know if Spanisha is going to keep on that horse. Yeah, and the guard DP's moving and going to get into that building. Yeah, that's going to prove deadly if there's two DP's and two South Edgemantry. Yeah, goddamn, just look at him go. Yes, sir. And we have two more squads. The Ultima Cheeky's coming out of the forest. Yeah, this is, um... This is one of those moments that I'm surprised that Xenon is not winning by more. Mm -hmm. he's, he's holding more than 51% of the territory, but that's no longer good enough in this game, so... No, it's mainly due to the fact that he's completely lost the middle because Spanish said, listen, then he's pushing middle and he's getting lots of flags and he has managed to stabilize it and almost it's very close to getting one more flag to actually bring it to his favor. Yes, and I think we're actually seeing that armor getting set up in the north, a couple of P4Gs, actually three P4Gs. Mm -hmm. um, so not the greatest network yet. He can still upgrade to four or five G pretty quickly, but uh, for the moment... <laughs> We're going fast oh, and furious tonight. <laughs> Jesus, I was, I, I, I did not, I did not come, come here expecting such jokes to be dropped. Oh uh, well, you know, that every, was good. Every now that again. was good. Thank you. Um, now what just died? Did an airplane go down? I cannot. Four ten. Oh, the, no, the 410? Uh, looking at, I'm not, I'm looking at the carcass. It might, it might be like a fucker or four. It's a plane. It's a, it's a plane. It's a dead plane now. Are you sure it's not Superman? They get, uh, they get confused the all the time, you know. Well, yeah, birds, planes, Superman, a, they, they get confusing. Mm-hmm. Just if all three are right next to each other, I have a very hard time picking them from a police lineup. True, true. Maybe it's like an A, B, C, like all of the above kind of thing, so... Mm -hmm. Now, I, I am amused. We do have two Pioneer squads and two Panther Grenadier squads moving into the south. And they're going to do pretty well, I think, with pushing and maybe even taking this flag. But, yet again, they hit, they leave their rear woefully undefended. Yeah, and once again, the Soviets have, or well, Xenon has a really good control over the reinforcement lines on both south and northern flanks, and it's going to really stop Spanish, because all they can do is bring the infantry on the far south or far north and move through the forest, and without fire support, they don't get too far. And while we are going to see a 1311 in favor of the German Reich over here. Um, I never mind, Project 1212. Uh, what, was I, what was I seeing at some point today? Someone was talking about how one of the Prussian military marchers, they wanted to go and put it on an ice cream truck so they could sell Reich cream. <laughs> which, which Wait, I, was this in the second war? No, 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 no. Okay. I, was, I think it was, I was just on YouTube at one point and I found oh, okay. whatever Prussian military marches. I think I was oh, listening. Oh, Prussia. I was, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Was, it, yeah. Honestly, it just made my day that someone made that joke. I was like, oh man, the puns. The puns. <laughs> uh, worth mentioning in the meantime, uh, though, I think we're going to have the IL 2? No, the Tupelo, two, whatever. 222. Two, a 2-2, two, two, really. That's really how you should pronounce it. Ah, he's two, a dancer. 2 to us. Nonetheless, it drops some booms. All about to drop some booms, and goddamn. Oh, yeah, he's dropping yeah. those beats. Yeah, I, I don't think the uh, the Panzer Grenadiers dig it. Well, they're Philistines, what can I say? They don't really understand good music. They're all about the oom pa not the oom boom boom. <laughs> uh, well, at least you know that the 2 the two, 2 is definitely a fan of the Vanga Boys. All they keep going is boom boom boom. <laughs> God damn. All right, damn. I'm, I'm, I'm done for okay. two. I'm done okay. for now. <laughs> <laughs> The middle is not looking good at all, as uh, Spanish has just been pretty much pushed out of it, and that's a lot of his flags have lost because of that. But he has managed to stabilize the south, at least for himself. Yeah, but I think the middle, I think, is only being donated to him out of respect, mm -hmm. because he's got one Pantagon idea with the Panzerfaust who's holding about 
50 yards of that, uh, 50 meters, excuse me, of that town, and that's the only thing keeping him in this. Yeah, and we got some IG-18s being brought in, which would probably be a good idea to hold on to the forest and... Except when they drive right past yeah. the guard squad, yes. Sorry, it's the, yeah. down to the south, it's just like you're driving an IG-18 right past the front lines, and he's kind of wondering why it's, it's dying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Faith in Bogota. Mm -hmm. Xenon's been doing a very good job here, just keeping up the pressure. It's just doing what you need to do. You infantry spam through the forest and just bring in some T-34-76s. He's finally bringing up some T-34-85s now, as you do have quite a few cards of those in his deck. Well, and definitely have the Combrotis, which is going to be a nice little bit of extra oomph. Um, but you're right. I think the, the 85s are what's going to keep him. Go, yeah, excuse me. What's going to win the game for him? Mm-hmm. Especially against 20th Panzer, because the nice thing is with those 85s, you can fight all the 20th Panzer tanks extremely easily, apart from the IS-2. But I have a feeling Spanish here doesn't even have the IS-2 in his battle group, because we haven't seen it so far. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm skeptical myself. Mm -hmm. Now, once again, that first shot for the T-34 takes out a P-4 to the south, and there goes, I would say, God damn. that uh, stabilized position that we were talking about. Yeah. Just... Yeah, Xenon Guns is... It's really coming down to infantry. Even though the tanks are getting the big kills, killing other tanks and whatnot, you need that infantry nearby to keep your tanks alive in the first place to actually make him effective. And while we weren't looking in the northern side, the northern offensive is no longer stabilized either, so just like with Operation Bagration over there on the eastern front, the Soviets worked the flanks and mm -hmm. um, encircled the Germans. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, he said this before, but I feel like Spanish is sort of lost by now, but he's, he's still holding on, which is, I'm, I'm quite amazed. I, I really am quite amazed. I think it's really just due to his middle, yeah, it's really just due to the middle here. I agree for the moment, but I'm um, actually going to see, we're going to see four squads of Storm Pioneers being brought to the, five squads of Storm Pioneers being brought to the south, as well as a couple of P4s, as well as a very aggressively placed P4s. Oh, um, yeah. T-34 coming forward, uh, I don't know if I like that in the south. I think maybe and, we're going to see some of these uh, Storm Pioneers getting, well, a little flamed out. Yeah, and it has no recon nearby either. Which is not good. No, it is not. But the Storm Pioneers are coming on in, the Flammenwerfers, the Nebelhank, you know, all the things like that. But the Ultima Cheeky... I don't know. Who wins in a close-up fight? Is it the Storm Pioneers or the Ultima Cheeky? Oof. Uh, I say Storm Pioneers. Just Flamethrower is usually win most engagements. Uh, also worth noting that you're saying that there's no recon? There's actually a ton of recon. There's a bunch of random infantry squads dotted liberally around the field behind <laughs> enemy lines. Uh, brave, yeah. brave men. Yes, sir? Yeah, it's Storm Pioneers down south. Should be able to clear the forest a bit, but there's still some T-34s nearby, and the Sun Pioneers can't burn the T-34s to death, unfortunately. And he's doing the same thing in Morpheus Sturm piles, but I, I have a feeling Spanish must be starting to run low on tanks now, if he's been kind of throwing them away. Certainly true. Meanwhile, the reverse is certainly not true. As more 85s come off that production line, and I think at long last, um, Xenon is tired of having that one lone Panzer Grenadier inside his town. You see right now, he's starting to aggress there, even sending the, the sniper in to kind of, uh, pin down and clear the way. Mm-hmm. And that, as they say, should be that. Yeah, also, I don't think Spanish is actually use Oh, he has a mortal health track, never mind. But it's currently out of ammo, but he is bringing a supply truck to resupply it, so, good man. Indeed. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if this T-34, excuse me, 42, in the north is really going to do a whole lot. He's trying to get some shots off on these half-tracks, the Shrem Pioneer column, and just maybe get a kill? Well, crew panic, so that's not terrible. Could definitely have been a lot more effective than he was so far. Okay, well, that, that, that counts as effective right there. And we're back to that 1410 as the Germans send troops in to create these finger kind of protrusions and this <laughs> And Xenon says, hey dude, I love um Krautfingers. Yeah, he's just poking the bear. 
Oh, T-44 gets killed, yo, so... Up north? Yeah, uh, down south. I was gonna say, I was looking down south to cut this half-track charge, it just kind of... went horribly wrong. Yeah, he's ringing out the Panzer Falls here. Uh, he's trying to use them to push middle and support town, but he can't... those Panzer Falls aren't in the best position to run with a really ballsy attack move. As ah, yes. No infantry support, no recon, they're just... Fortunately, there's no Soviet AT nearby, so they can sit, sit around for a little bit and just shoot. True, but there's an SU 152 and there's a T 3485, the uh, transmission damaged. That will do some hefty damage pretty darn quick. Mm hmm. The sun plane is down south, getting those flames on. Yep, but you know what? Even if they get a couple captures here and there, they're being bled dry, and they're losing mm -hmm. a lot of extra firepower here. But we are seeing whispers of life from Spanish shows, so maybe maybe Franco has, is helping, you know, coming forth to kind of help out his his namesake here. Maybe not. <laughs> um, yeah. A lot of pounds of force being brought in. Good God. The three of them down south, the two to the north, yeah. Yeah, that is a lot. While well, Xenon, he's bringing in those T forty forty fives, which are definitely more than a match for the P fours. Yeah, well, what can I say? He's a he's a commander of the twentieth century, so. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Now we do have a T thirty four eighty five. He's going to get aggressed on pretty quickly by a P four. He's going to appear very opportunistically in his flank, but there's still PTRDs to deal with, and there's there's a lot of stuff going on there. There is, there is. But yeah, yeah, it's it this match shows really weird once again. The Spanish here is still just barely holding on, but he just lacks any real proper momentum like post -route. Oh, God, Colossal Bomber. I was going to make the comment whenever you took a breath to stop. But yes, we have the old Wallowing Pig coming on in at, at you know, blazing 285 kilometers per hour. Engine overheating. So he got the bombs off. He's going to kill one, but he's going to die in a second. There's mm -hmm. too much there. Are you kidding me? Yep, and the Yaks come in to realize that the kills are defense slain. Alrighty. So down, yeah, down south, Spanish, I said he made a pocket, but the Soviets have managed to reconnect, and now he's moving in a bunch of Panzer Falls through a, a forest that, yeah, he, that he's gonna lose those, those P-4s. That's for, that's for sure. Well, there's a Comorotti who's going to get some really great side shots if you move them up about, you know, 200 meters. Mm -hmm. um, I think the thing that's amusing me a little bit, though, is, well, the fact that there's a ton of Soviet air power and nothing has been done, even remotely. In fact, we can see Gepards being brought in the south to kind of tell you how bad the situation is. Oh, yeah. I don't think you get a lot of AA to begin with the 20 Panzer, really. I, I think I completely forgot, honestly. It's the Flak 38s are a big thing. Yeah, okay, you got yeah, some Flak 38s and yeah, the other parts. Really more 20 mils. I think I've got decent fire support. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, he hasn't really done too much to try and deal with the, the two twos that keep coming in. So you've got Messerschmitt up north, but the Soviets just have too much AI. And how did that Pack 40 get behind the Soviet lines? Oh, that was one of the guys who's been, like, walking slowly and, like, doing the, the old Elmer Fudd routine. That is... <laughs> that's dedication to the cause, but... It's not going to be all that useful yet. No, it's been spotted. And now, destroyed. But in the early, early push, that was a guy who was literally hugging the northern boundary and, quote, falling back. Mm -hmm. Um... And then he stopped falling back, he started charging forwards. So gutsy, even foolhardy, but it worked. Now, yeah. I'm fascinated to see this P4 getting aggressed on by, uh, by superiors. Down south? Yes, sir. In the forest. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't move tanks in forests unsupported. No, never do yet. I, I think, I'm thinking, I'm going to keep saying he's running out of stuff. That's just trying to plan to for you, but it definitely feels like. It is down south, as he hasn't brought up any infantry reinforcements for his P4s, so and now they're just sitting around here on the road, just picking their noses, thinking about what to do. Well, you know, I was thinking about that, I was thinking to myself, man, I pardon me wishes we actually weren't casting right now, because that's a beautiful shot right there. Oh, yeah. You know, three brothers looking out into the forest, 
I got nothing else, but the point is that it's a beautiful shot. It's like a Bob Ross painting right there. Mm -hmm. No peach tree in sight, yo. True. True. Now, another JU-87 is coming on in. Not the Cluster Bomber this time. He's just going to be dropping HE bombs like crazy. And... Oh, he's diving. He's just... Yeah, he's dropping bombs on the superiors. It's going to be a bit of a mess, I think. Oh, Ooh, no. And the, and the no. Gephards are going to get a kill. Probably even two Whoa. here in a second. This Yak is going to get shredded. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I, 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 it's like two star. So, yeah, it does make sense. But I, you got... I keep forget. Jeez. I'm just watching between the Gephard. It's just shredding these buildings. The Ultima Chiki came out, threw a grenade, disabled one of these P4s. He's trying to get in tight, nice and tight on another one, maybe. Tracks broken, falling back. This entire armored push is getting destroyed by one T34 1943. Actually, two of them. They've gotten some great, great hits. And now the Ultima Chiki from behind. Man, this is like the Death Star Trench, except the Empire's getting killed. <laughs> Yeah, that is... That was nuts. I was still rather surprised by AAA. I completely forget how, how good single 20 mil guns can be in SD2. Well, the T-34-85 uh, T Komrotti is coming forwards, and I cannot help but feel they're about to be donated, these guys, all of them, for the benefit of the motherland. Mm-hmm. And Tom, even at, like, T-34-85 in the, in the town, I believe, is... Yeah, that's getting the shots onto the hills. Yes, it is. Three three martyrs being brought on in, but you know what? I think, ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty much all over but the uh, but the cleanup. Mm-hmm. Yes, Bannister, go give him credit. He has managed to hold on for quite a while, considering his predicament. Indeed. Like, but he, he never really had any momentum or really hope it seemed to make a proper offensive. Can we just give a nod over here to the Ultima Chiki in the south? They have three H um, heat grenades left, but they have been quite instrumental in locking down this armor attack just as much as that as those two tanks were. Yeah, they're in a real clutch position. And well, the last uh, major attack here from the Spanish Rider and the T-34-85 is just going to throw himself into the fray. Might as well. Appearing on the flank of the P-4. Of two, of two P-4s, maybe this is a little less uh, intelligent, but... And then he shoots at the recon unit. Alright. <laughs> Sometimes the AI in this game confuses me. Yeah, and he... And was that an attack? I think he... Yeah, he gave a... Purposeful attack order, I think, maybe to kill a recon. I don't, I don't know. Nonetheless, it it died after the cheeky through grenade. But the uh, tu, uh, the, the two two, as you call it, uh, he did kill something, and the tank actually went down just as well from the last ditch grenade. Mm hmm And I, I, the KD's got to be insane. Yep. Almost, yep. two, almost two to one again. And that's a lot. Again, four thousand kills in a one v one match it only goes for thirty <laughs> minutes. It's pretty good. That's, that's a lot of kills. Well, there's one T-34, one, two, three, four, five, six vehicle kills, as many infantry kills, paying for himself. Oh, God. Guard squad killing three and two. I mean, yeah, one anti-air piece killing t three planes. Yeah, that's, that's nuts seeing a T-34, 76 of all things, get that many kills. They usually just cannon fodder. You got a T-30, 45 at the bottom. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, just knocking out. Five. five tanks, three vehicles. God damn. Jesus. And looking at losses here, yeah, it's... Unfortunately, pretty... just not trading up. Nothing nothing really all way out fancy or exciting. It's pretty, pretty spread out in chronology to... Sussy! Yeah, it does... Uh, Xenon does lose quite a bit during, during A phase in terms of units, but... Once you get oh early A phase, once you get past like the four minute mark, it is I'm I'm feeling rather blue. Mm-hmm. Yep. Blues that victim and blues that tank. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. But hey, 
Honestly, I thought that game, from the way it started, was going to be over in, you know, two seconds, and no. So, no. as much as it sounds like you're taking shots over here to a Spanish rider, hats off to the guy for sticking with it, because that was mm -hmm. not an easy fight to continue. Not at all, not at all. He was, I uh, highly recommend for Spanish rider in the future, take, like, Panda Grenadiers and Stern Pioneers in the future for your initial push. I mean, bring some of those stars through, but you definitely need a bit more meaty infantry at the start, especially against an infantry spam division such as 44. Yep, you sure do. Uh, but you know what? For right now, folks, we actually are going to go into... Uh, we're putting out three replays this week. I wanted to call that out real quick. So after we go today, please make sure you check back in. The next couple of days, we're going to come out with a third replay. So it's just so much Orsha Cup goodness. We want to make sure you see it all. Mm -hmm. uh, but Rang, any final thoughts for this particular match? None whatsoever. Okay, folks, in that case then, we are going to call it quits. Until next time, I'm Con Ulrich. I'm Rang Roo. Take it easy.